Hi, Mike. Uh, so one of the questions uh, we kind of get asked and, and a number of people that have struggled with the concept of GST. Can you tell us a bit more about what GST is and, you know, when you are a business, should you register to GST? Yes, um, GST came, uh, was enacted in Australia in the year 2000 from July 1st. The GST Act covers goods and services tax. GST stands for goods and services tax. And it is at 10% and it applies to all goods and services that are consumed and uh, created within Australia. Okay. Um, what it basically does is it allows the government to collect tax on certain goods and products, not fresh produce. So there are certain things that are exempt from GST, which we can cover in another topic. But if you are earning or turning over more than $75,000 in Australia, you have to register for GST. So let's say you set up a structure and you are going to turn over $78,000 in your first year, or you're expecting to turn over that much in the first year, you have to, by law, register for GST. If you are not uh, turning over $75,000, you can voluntarily register for GST. What that means is when you pay a tax invoice or when you buy a laptop or something else that contains GST, you can claim back the GST on, your, on, the, on the purchase. But at the same time, when you're invoicing somebody, you have to apply 10% on top of the value of the goods or services that you produce. So let's say you are going to invoice $100 to somebody, you have to add 10% on top for GST. And technically that is not your money, that belongs to the government, and you have to pay that at the end of every quarter on your BAS, or Business Activity Statement, which is BAS. That's what you will hear accountants say, BAS, all the time. So uh, GST is something that um, you can only claim when you've been charged it. So you cannot assume that something contains GST. Uh, just by you know hiring a, 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 wood, a plumber to come home and do your repairs, they may or may not be registered for GST. The way to check it is you go to a, a website called abn.gov.au and they have an open list of all the ABNs in Australia and you can check if that ABN is registered for GST. It's a free and open database. So anybody can go onto it and look up their ABN number and check if they're registered for GST. So very important for every business who is uh, utilizing, some, who is registered for GST to make sure that they have a tax invoice so that they can claim the GST back on the BAS, all right?